Hey, it's Brent from the White Lab Workshop. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I built this shadow box out of one by twos and quarter inch plywood. Let's check it out. I started by drawing a super rough diagram. I wasn't gonna use any fancy joinery with this one, so I needed to get it straight in my mind what the frame would look like with butt joints. This shadow box would be 10 inches by 10 inches, so the short side of the frame would be 10 inches to match, and the long side would also have to account for the thickness of the short side. Since I was using 1x2s, the thickness of each piece is 3 quarters of an inch. Obviously. Because lumber that says it's 1 inch thick is actually 3 quarters of an inch. Obviously. Which means that the long side pieces needed to be cut to 11 and a half inches. Ignore the 13 inches I wrote down. You probably couldn't even tell I wrote down 13 inches, since I have terrible handwriting, but I did. Next, I grabbed some pieces to work with from my lumber pile and made sure I was going to find some decent sections. Then I pulled out my table saw and crosscut sled and started measuring the first stop block for the short sides. One pass to clean up the first end, then another pass to cut the piece to size. It worked best if I could cut a short piece and a long piece from each of the 1x2s I had, so I did a quick rinse and repeat. Then did the same for the long pieces. I figured it would be easier to sand before I got into assembly. Plus, I was just so darn excited to get sanding, I couldn't possibly wait any longer. Sanding is my favorite! After coming down from my sanding high, I got the idea that it would be nice to recess the backer piece so the edge of the plywood wouldn't be visible. To do this, I pulled out my router table and set up for rabbit cuts that would put the backer flush with the back of the frame. I was about halfway through the last piece when it occurred to me that I had not meant to cut the full rabbits into the long sides. And here is why. I'd meant to stop the rabbit short on the long pieces so that this gap wouldn't show up on the ends. Well gosh darn it. They say a big part of woodworking is learning how to fix mistakes. Now, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I must be turning into a pretty good woodworker because I'm fixing my mistakes all the time. To fix this mistake, I decided to cut small pieces that I could glue into the gap to hide it. This shadow box would ultimately be painted by a friend of mine, so hopefully it won't even be noticeable. I mean, I guess, you know, if he watches this, then I guess he'll know it's there and be able to look for it and maybe then it'll be noticeable. I used my tenoning jig to cut the thickness, then I pulled out my crosscut sled to cut the width and the height. a little glue to put them in place. Once the glue dried, I used my table saw to cut the repairs down flush. And now they're gone. I set the frame up to get measurements for the size that the backer piece needed to be to fit into the rabbits. Then I cut it square. For assembly, I glued the ends of the short pieces and nailed it together. Then, before the glue had time to set, I applied glue to the rabbit for the backer and put the backer in place to help square it all up. I also did my best to get the glue squeeze out cleaned up right away. I put a 10 pound plate on it to hold it down, but one corner was trying to be a tough guy and wouldn't lay down. So I swapped it for a 15 kilogram kettlebell, which is about 33 pounds. The corner finally cried uncle and laid down flat. A bit of quick sanding to clean things up and ta-da! 
This thing is great, and there's a lot of really cool things that you could do with it. I could definitely see my wife from the White Lab House coming up with some really cool home decor ideas. But we're going to use this box to display some fun things for a friend of ours. If you like this video, consider hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to the channel. We've got a lot more woodworking projects queued up, and we'd love to share them with you. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.